So today we're going to focus on wrists and shoulder opening. Something that we tend to be very tight in is our shoulders and our wrists because of staying on computers and driving all day. So the first little exercise is a wrist opening stretch. So what you'll do is you'll take your right hand out in front of you. Keep spreading through all of the fingers. Keep trying to spread throughout the whole entire exercise. Take your first two fingers and your thumb. Grab above the middle knuckle. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, drag the pinky back toward you. Notice how all the rest of my fingers are still spreading open. Inhale to let go. Exhale, switch to the ring finger. With a big inhale. Exhale, drag the finger back toward your body. Inhale to switch. Exhale. Take a big inhale to repair. Exhale, drag the finger toward the body. Inhale through the transition. Take another exhale. Keep spreading through the fingers. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, drag the pointer finger back toward the body. Then I'm going to go underneath my wrist with my left hand, wrap all of my fingers around my thumb. Keep spreading through all the fingers. Take a big inhale. Exhale, draw the thumb back toward your torso. Keep spreading through all the other fingers. And release and shake it out. Next hand. Left hand comes out. Again, take your first two fingers, your thumb, grab for that part right in between the bottom knuckle and the mid knuckle. Take a big inhale to prepare. Exhale, drag the pinky back toward the body. Inhale to switch. Exhale. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull the um, ring finger. I forgot what it was called for a second. Back toward your body. Inhale to switch. Exhale to flush it out. Inhale. Exhale, pull the middle finger back toward the body. Keep spreading through the rest of the fingers. Inhale. Exhale. Notice if your shoulders, I just felt my creeping up. Drag them down. Inhale. Exhale to drag the pointer back. And then again, you're taking your right hand underneath, wrapping around the thumb, spreading through all the fingers. Take a big inhale. Exhale, pull them back to the body. Shake that hand off. You can switch the cross of your legs. Taking all the fingers down to the mat in front of you. To begin, we're not going to put the palm fully down. We're just going to start to press the palm down. So take a big inhale. And exhale, just gently push on those fingers. Keep spreading fingers into the ground in front of you. If you are on the computer a lot, if you're driving a lot, that should feel quite intense all throughout the form. Another big inhale. Exhale, now you can start to walk the palm of the hand down. You might need to walk the hands in a little bit closer to the torso. Let the shoulders relax away from the ear. Take a couple of breaths. And then slowly lift up the palms. Up. Bring both hands out. Wrap the fingers in. The thumb comes over. Inhale to prepare. And then exhale. You're going to slightly tilt the wrists down like you have a big jug of milk or water in your hands. Feeling for a stretch across the top of the wrists. One more big one like that. Have the thumbs come back up. Inhale. And then exhale. Pour out your jug. Alright, 
So for this, you can either stay cross-legged. I'm just going to come into knee pile just so that I can get my hips opening a little bit while I continue to work on my shoulders. What we'll do to start, actually, I'll switch around so you can see my back. Is take the left hand up the back as far as you can. Right hand comes to the elbow, and I'm going to start to push my elbow toward the midline, reaching for getting that hand up as high as I can. Not pushing to the point of hurting, but pushing to the point where you're feeling that stretch across the shoulder. I want to maintain a connection, so I'm either going to keep my right hand on my elbow, or if I have the room, I'm coming up from above, grabbing her fingers here. And I'm just breathing. Four or five breaths, and then I'm slowly letting go, releasing my left hand, shaking out my shoulder. That is super juicy. Both hands out, flip the palm down on the right hand, reach for the midline of the back. Just notice one side is going to be tighter than the other. This side for me is definitely tighter, so I might even stay at the elbow on this one, maintaining a connection. Walking the hand up the back. And then you'll choose to either stay here, or if you have the connection, you'll bring the left hand up, reach for fingertips. Inhale. Exhale. But remember, if this isn't working, just grab for the elbow or for the forearm. Fifth breath, releasing gently, rolling both of my shoulders out. And while my back's facing you, I'll show you what shoulder shrugs look like from the back. This is a really nice way to unlock the shoulders. So the way that this works is you take a big inhale, shrug the shoulders up, roll them back, exhale, shoulders come down on the back. You're feeling for those shoulder blades sliding down the back. One more time like that. Inhale. Up. Straight back. Exhale. Roll the shoulders down the spine. Then I'm bringing my hands out, making little bird wings for myself. Having those elbows really snug into my sides. Inhale to prepare. And then exhale, I'm externally rotating through the shoulders, bringing my arms out like little bird wings. I'm feeling an intense opening across the front of my shoulders right now. Inhale to release. Take a breath. We'll do one more like that. Inhale. Exhale, externally rotate, opening up like little bird wings, feeling for that stretch across the front of shoulders here. This is an amazing exercise for shoulder health, for shoulder opening. And then release. I'll flip back around. If you were in knee pile, I have my left knee on top at first. I'm coming into knee pile on the right side now. Bring both hands out in front of you. Cross right arm over left. Going into eagle arms. Inhale to prepare. Lifting the arms up and forward. And then I'm going to exhale, relax my forehead right into my arms, if that feels good for you. You can also do another variation just coming forward if you want to see what that does for the stretch. I kind of prefer to stay upright, but that's another option. Inhale into upper back. Exhale, let that head cradle into the forearms. Really focusing my breath on my upper shoulders. And then 
exhale to release. Both arms out in front of you again. Cross the left over right, coming into evil arms. Inhale, the arms shoot up and forward, feeling through that widening across the back. Exhale, release the head if that feels good. Breathe really deeply here. Last breath. Slowly unwind. Ooh. All right, coming on to all fours. Wrists are right underneath the shoulders, and then I'm flipping the left palm to face my body. All I'm doing here is starting to put weight, rocking front and back. I'm just opening up the wrists a little bit more in a different way. If you want to play with it, you could bring the left foot back and get that ankle stretch in at the same time, or just leave the knee down. You can also do Hip circles, feel like for an opening across the wrist in a different way. One more like that. Come back to neutral. Flip the left palm to face forward. Exhale, flip the right palm toward your body. Start to gently rock back and forth. Keep widening the fingers into the mat. I'm going to take my right foot back this time with that little ankle stretch in too. And then start to make circles over the wrist. Keep that breath up. Back to neutral. Coming into a nice little shoulder opener here. I'm going to take that right hand under my left. Focus on getting the right side of my um, temple onto the mat here. And I'm just breathing. I'm feeling for a stretch across the right shoulder here. You can even start to walk the left arm out if that feels okay for you. Walk the left hand back in, come back to neutral, other side, walk the left arm underneath the right, take the same variation on both sides if that works for your body, pushing the left up with the mouth. Walk the right hand back in, push back up to all fours. The very last thing you'll need two blocks for. Making a nice T at the top of my mat. And then you might have to play around with the spacing. But really, I want the bottom block to come right in between my shoulders. And then I want the top block to be a rest for my head. Oops. And then you can either keep the feet on the mat, come into Baddha Konasana, have the feet straight up, whatever works for you. I think I'm going to come into Baddha Konasana, taking both arms up, and then I'm either coming into cactus arms, or the arms can come straight up. For me, the cactus variation, that is super intense. I really prefer that. You can just stay here for as many breaths as you want, getting a nice opening across the chest. Mm 